going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog on the channel. Today we're doing some sneaker shopping here in London, England and uh, we're gonna be in the Mayfair area. We're gonna check out a bunch of really iconic sneaker stores that we used to go to all the time in other countries including Canada. We're gonna be going to stores like Full Locker, Adidas, JD Sports and a couple others. Really curious to see what's gonna be here compared to places like Canada because you know different sneakers, different cultures, we don't really know what we're gonna find so uh, let's have some fun. First things first, we weren't able to go to JD Sports or Adidas in this vlog. We're going to be going in an upcoming vlog just because we ended up spending so much time inside of Full Locker and inside of the next store that we go into. So first off, let's take a look at the Nike section here in London's Full Locker. And I got to say, I was expecting a lot of Air Max Pluses and they did not disappoint. They also had a bunch of other Nike Air Max sneakers. And this was just before Air Max Day when this was filmed. So I might have to go back and snag myself a pair just to celebrate the month of uh, Air Max month, I guess. On to some Nike dunks this is where i was blown away they had so much selection for nike dunks now i didn't find any of the lows which are the more popular version of the nike dunks but they did have a lot of the jordan not jordan <laughs> they had a lot of the nike dunk highs they had the red pair the green pair and this is the green pair i actually uh, missed out on because of the resellers in the previous vlog so check out london vlog number one if you missed it we ended up buying these the other day this is a really dope colorway not sure about the story behind it but i'm definitely a big fan of the color blocking for this one we also have this black and white pair which looks uh, pretty basic to me it's an easy pass and then here's a look at some more of the nike sneakers that they had including some nike blazers that a bunch of the oversized version with that jumbo swoosh on the side i am thinking about reviewing the black pair so if you guys want to see a review for those let me know in the comment section down below um, but yeah they had a bunch of different colorways for the jumbo swoosh nike blazer mid or high uh, they also had a bunch of shoes in this sale rack which is pretty cool. I'm not used to seeing sort of a sale rack inside of Foot Lockers. Next up, we have a look at the Adidas section with the South Park collection. I was so hyped to see all of these South Park sneakers available inside of Foot Locker. These are all Foot Locker exclusives to my knowledge. And uh, yeah, starting off with the Stan Marsh, Stan Smith. These are hilarious. We also have these ones as well. I forget the name of this character. It's been a while since I've seen South Park, but I always watched South Park a lot growing up. We also have the Cartmans right here. Uh, this is more of like a collectible colorway in my opinion. Some of these you can get away with wearing, but the Cartmans are definitely too bold for my liking. We also have the Kennys, the, oh my God, I, you killed Kennys. Um, these are funny NMDs. I really like the small little details on them. We also have another pair here, which is like teal and uh, teal and silver. Not too, uh, I can't, I can't, from, like, I can't recall what character this one's for. And then we have a general look at some more Adidas sneakers. So let's just take a look at these. Next up onto the New Balance section, they had a bunch of New Balance 550s, so I might I might have to go back and grab a pair. Uh, but they had two colorways of the 550s, we had the Syracuse, and then we have this white and gray pair, which is super, super simple. Here's a look at more of the other New Balance sneakers that they have, and there's a lot more New Balance heat in the other store that we go to. New Balance is really, really popular here in London. Here's a look at these like Tokyo Shibuya themed uh, Crocs, they caught my eye. And then here's a look at the Puma selection.
All right, so we just walked out of Foot Locker. I am super, super happy compared to size where some uh, some resellers ended up stealing and yoinking the pairs I was gonna buy. Woo! Doug is holding them now, but we got two pairs of Nike Dunks, so very, very happy about that. Next up, I believe we're gonna stop by Zara because I got some clothing shopping to do. I bought this from Zara actually in Las Vegas for like 30 bucks. And then uh, Doug likes Zara too, so we're both gonna be happy. And then we're gonna check out the Adidas store. Not the Adidas store, the Adidas. <laughs> Before we dive back into some sneaker shopping and I show you guys the fire Air Jordan 1 sitting for retail at one of London's best designer department stores that has a bunch of brands like LV, Off-White, Gucci, Kith, and Bape, and more. I want to talk to you guys about today's vlog sponsor, Skillshare. I gotta say, it feels really good to be out here vlogging in London and I love vlogging in public because you always meet interesting people and I have a lot of people in London and just in general when I vlog in public asking me about YouTube. Some of the most common questions I get while vlogging out in public is how long have you been doing it for? Does it make a good income? What cameras do you use? And and the most popular question is how should I get started on YouTube? I've been wanting to try for quite some time. Now, after I unload a ton of information on them when it comes to YouTube and how I've been doing it for 12 years and how it was a hobby that became a job, I always talk about a resource I wish I had when I first started. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses that you can explore, including ones on YouTube and vlogging. My favorite tech YouTuber, Marquez Brownlee, AKA MKBHD, actually has a course just on YouTube alone. The course is called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. Now there's two main reasons as to why I always recommend Skillshare to newbies and that's because it is super, super noob friendly. It has a really easy layout so you can look for the courses that you really wanna learn from and then on top of that, you also can get a one month free trial. So if you wanna learn about vlogging, YouTube or maybe something else, click the link in the description down below. The first 1,000 people will be able to access this one month free trial. And honestly, one month is quite a bit of time. You can learn more than just about YouTube in just that month alone. So if you've ever wanted to try doing YouTube, maybe vlogging, maybe photography, maybe some stuff in Photoshop, After Effects, check out Skillshare, link down below. With that said, let's get back to some heat sneaker shopping. There was a look at the Bape selection inside of the department store. Next up, we have the off-white section, and they had a bunch of these sort of like Nike Dunk low uh, fused with a Bape stuff with a patent leather kind of uh, kind of shoes. Really, really interesting. I think Carlo has a couple pairs of these in his collection, and uh, they're just they're they're really strange to me. I don't think I could get behind these shoes. Uh, we also have this typical off-white sneaker. I've seen these a lot over the last couple of years in various colorways. Here's the black version. I know some people like to keep the orange tags on as well. Here's a look at their like sort of Vans style off-white sneakers as well. They had them in a couple of different colorways. And then next up, let's take a look at some of the Louis Vuitton sneakers. And they are very, very, very expensive. I can tell you they're not in my price range anytime soon, uh, but they look pretty cool.
One cool thing is they also had a kith treats and a kith inside of the department store. Uh, it was a bit expensive, so I passed on it. I wasn't that hungry anyways. Next up, we have these insanely wacky Adidas sneakers. So these sneakers I'm all showing you guys right now are from a, another store inside of the department store called Offspring. And uh, they have a bunch of general release sneakers and some pretty limited heat as well. Um, I saw a bunch of Yeezy boxes in the display at the back of the cash register, but I didn't see a single Yeezy on display. So that was kind of weird. Maybe they just used them as props. Um, but yeah, here's a look at the Adidas section inside of Offspring. These sneakers are really, really weird to me. Um, we also have a pretty decent selection of Converse. So like this is a, a like, sort of like a full locker in the department store. They had a variety of different brands uh, ranging from Adidas, Converse. Uh, they had some Reeboks, New Balance. Um, and of course Jordans and Nikes, which we're gonna show you guys show you guys in a second. We had these dope CDGs as well. I bought those green ones in Japan early, like a year before they released internationally. Here's a look at some of the uh, the polka dot ones they also had as well. I'm a fan of all these CDG, CDG Converse. I know they are pretty played out for some people. Next up, we have the uh, the Rick Owens, uh, I believe Rick Owens Dark Shadow Converse collaboration with the exaggerated tongue, and it looks really weird with the low top version. So uh, I don't think I could buy the low tops but the highs might be a might be a questionable purchase Next up, let's take a look at the Nike section and then the Jordans. They have these Nike Dunk Highs. They had two different colorways. This is a look at the Acid Wash one. These are actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. We also have some LeBrons available. They have the Lows and the Big Bangs. We also have the most expensive foam posits I've ever seen. These cost an arm and a leg. I think it's like $500 retail for those. Here's just a general look. And then we have some Nike Air Maxes to go through. A couple colorways of the Air Max 90, just in time for uh, the Air Max day. We also have these dope Air Max 97s. These kind of have that Sean Witherspoon, Witherspoon, <laughs> Witherspoon uh, inspired color blocking and some Air Max Pluses as well. Now on to what really surprised me, the Air Jordan 1 High Dark Marina Blue. I was, I was not expecting to see these at all sitting and uh, they actually had quite a few sizes left, but not my size. So I couldn't buy a pair for personal, unfortunately. Unfortunately, like really, really unfortunate. I really wanted a pair. They also had the Brotherhoods, which I wasn't really a big fan of, and they had the Gore-Tex Shadow Air Jordan 1 High as well. They also had some low top Air Jordans too, which were some pretty unique color, kind of colorways. And then, uh, yeah, just, I just, I was so sad. I couldn't buy these in my size. We did buy a pair in size 8.5. So we're gonna do a giveaway for those uh, after I announce the winner for the Pollens when I get back home in Canada. But yeah, here's a look at some Jordan 5s that they had. And they also had the recently released Air Jordan 13s. This is me buying the pair. If you guys like this video, check out the video on screen right now. It was my very first Japan vlog from my last Japan trip. You guys are gonna love it. And I also bought one of the last pairs of Jordan 1s that they had in stock at an exclusive Japanese store.